Talk to us on Twitter, channel us on sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. You can also send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. Also, all our top stories can be viewed on our website, it's channelstv.com, and on YouTube for slash channels web. If you're on the go, you can download the Channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. It's so simple. Just log on to m.channelstv.com, download the app, and you're part of everything we'll be doing tonight on the program. On social media, you can use the hashtag Rested in Nigeria, hashtag MPFL March the 36th, hashtag Victorious D Tigress. Let's show love to our uh, women basketballers in this country what a story they went to bamako mali they saw they were focused they conquered they're coming back with the trophy now we need to show them all the love that we can the d tigress undisputed champion right there from the 2017 afro women afro basket women's championships also let's use the hashtag epl if let's bring it further hashtag us now the gunners what's going on Gunners fans, let's hear from you guys. I want to read from you tonight. What is the problem with Arsenal? 4 0 against Liverpool, and Oxford Chamberlain is already on his way out. We hear that Mesut Ozil is not happy what's going on. Alexis Chance, uh, Sanchez has been going on and on. And then we're thinking Arsenal can go on to win the Europa League, but this is a world where impossible is nothing. We're monitoring everything. Don't forget, hashtag MPFL also. Inyobong Monday is here with us. Inyobong, good to have you on Sports Tonight. Yeah, Austin, it's an absolutely cracking Monday mm. evening because there's mm. lots and lots mm. to talk about. Yeah. Arsenal, but first and Ooh. foremost, massive congratulations to the Tigers. It was an unbelievable victory. Mm. You, you can't talk about the fact that um, they prepared so much. No, no one can come out and say, oh, it was, it was massive preparation. It was just about the, the hard work and the desire and the, the enthusiasm to play mm. for the nation. Mm. And I thought those girls were absolutely brilliant and they deserve awesome. all the commendations, all the adulations that they are going to get. Awesome, awesome. Let's see a confirmation of that result there. That's what it is. When you beat defending champion Senegal this way, it means you came for nothing but mm. a trophy. Absolutely. They didn't beat them once. They mm. beat them twice. twice. The first one in the group stages was, right. was a lot closer. It was just four points. It, it, it was a lot closer, but mm. they, this was um, <laughs> throwing down the gauntlet. This was showing how things should be done, and you have to give, give credit to these That's girls. Right. At, at the time where basketball in Nigeria has been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons, two elections at some point, FIBA were, were threatening to, to ban the, the, the country mm. from participating in international meets, but these girls have gone out and shown real, real quality. They, they, they came out quite slowly, losing the first quarter but give credit to Evelyn Ohato. Oh Absolutely oh brilliant. It, it was it, it was a fire firing from all cylinders. Mm. We're winning the second quarter, winning the third, winning the mm. fourth. Mm. And, and you've got to give them credit. The last time they won this was in 2005, where Nigeria hosted this one in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And before then, it was 2003. So it's right. been a 12-year wait for, for the Tigers to come out yeah. and sh show real identity mm. on the African mm. continent. And mm. qualifying for the World Cup in Spain mm. as a huge bonus awesome. for the man. It awesome. can only get better. It can only get better for this team. We need to watch them. You mentioned the brilliance of Evelyn um, Akato. There was also a Sarah Oguke that was shooting from downtown. Mm. And she's like, what's going on here this senegalist team wants to rob us after winning the first quarter and from there these ladies from the second third they didn't look back they, they didn't look back at all taking no prisoners of that one the shooting from all cylinders and it was a great defensive um of course offensive play from the girls it was it was just absolutely massive and mm. it, it it goes to tell you that when you want something so much when you show desire for something mm. it's possible mm. to get it mm. you no know, these girls have shifted away from all the trouble and all the talks and all all the, the, the preparation or the lack of it that we've, we've talked about sports in Nigeria they've gone out there and shown how it is done and the world is waiting and looks like they have something very intelligent to show the world mm. So that's it, that's it. There was also Ezine Kalu that played a part, Elon who played a part. Mm. Oh my goodness, in the demand was a fighter. And even when she got injured, Aisha Mohammed came in and she filled in properly. It means that the psychology of these mm. girls, were, they were on point. They knew what they wanted and they went out for it. As two Traore of Senegal, she was good, won the MVP, but who cares? We'll have the trophy. How can we forget about Sam Vincent, the coach? Mm. How can we mm. not mm. talk about mm. the, the, the desire and the, the mentality that he is putting to these girls and t showing them that w when you've got desire, That's because right. it's a very key thing, hmm. when you go onto the fo uh, into a field or into a court to play any sort of sport, there's got to be enthusiasm, there's got to be desire. 
and those goals and Sam Vincent credit to him because yeah. it's it's a it's a major 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 boost for them hmm. going to the World Cup and going forward in really? basketball in Nigeria and I, I hope that the, the the Tigers will borrow a leaf from me because it's it's wonderful for sports. All of a sudden, apart from all the troubles we're having in elections here and there, <laughs> sports is going in the right we direction. And this that. is a good one. That's what it is. Sports can be used as a tool for national unity. If you doubt me, listen to what I'm about to say. President of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, has congratulated uh, the national female basketball team, the D Tigress, on winning the 2017 Women's Afro Basket Championship in Mali. When the number one citizen mm. says, Look, you girls were awesome. Honor is due to these mm. ladies. That tells you that every other person, because the president leads, mm. we should now follow the president to say, Well done and congratulate this. It, it, it will be someone who is pretty hard to please who will come out and not give credit to, to these girls. Nobody will, will come out and say they have not done well. They've not done the country proud because, in all honesty, they have and they deserve all, all the commendation, all, all the credit that uh, that will be given to them. And it, when the, the number one citizen of a country comes mm. out and say, well done, mm. and also, in all honesty, this is on a lighter note. I just hope that it will not just end with a presidential handshake. I hope mm. that these girls will be very, very well rewarded. I know, but it talks of... <laughs> Play down a bit on, because how much will you really give to people that they will say they are comfortable? But first thing first, you know, we, we said it the last time on this show, this is just basic love. Mm. Oh, the president has come out to acknowledge, oh, fantastic, this is beautiful. Congratulations, girls. Mm. I, I, I love that already. Yeah. You know, and then probably host them. Mm. And then let's try a way to develop women's basketball. Sure. That these ladies will be like, hmm, this, this makes sense. I mean, for real, how much will you really give people and they'll be comfortable? In all honesty, you, you may not put it in terms of Naira and Kobo that's or dollars right, or, or euros. Right, right, you, right. You're looking at, okay, the World Cup is coming next year mm, in Spain. Mm. Let's start to do something. Let's that's start right. preparing. Mm. Let's not just rest on our laurels. Tell me you, are, you, are, you mm. put it together one mega modern ultra um, training center, mm. maybe in Abuja or Pataka or Lagos, where they can be training, put good facilities there before the World Championship. You see, people will say, well done. Yeah, absolutely, because it's, it's about preparation. It's That's about right. how, how well you're ready for a tournament. And if you're not ready for it, you know, honestly, you go to the world stage and you will be an absolute embarrassment. And I mm. think those girls need to start preparing and they need all the encouragement they can get. You've talked about the center um, f to, to develop mm -hmm. because the, the foreign base players may not necessarily be uh, available all the time. Yeah, you need, the ladies, you need yeah. to need, you need to develop our league. You need to develop <sighs> the, the homegrown players because I agree, I agree. It's, it's it's wonderful, we awesome. It's something what, there. Mm. you know, and she's a product of, of, of our domestic league. So yes, we need to do things that will empower these ladies. Mm. You know, and, and I think that's really really important. In a statement released by the special advisor on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshino, President Boy recommended the girls for displaying on common strength, confidence, skill, and dexterity in their victory over Senegal in Sunday's final. The president described it well. Hey, on on common strength, because that. also yeah. b between me and you and mm. a lot of Nigerians, I'm not sure there are many people who thought that the Tigress will win this tournament. Mm. Maybe a semi-final would have been okay, that, that's decent, but they've gone all the way. They played eight matches, wow. won all eight matches, beat Senegal, wow. and you know what, Cousin? No, no, no team at this tournament was able to score above 50 points against the Tigress, hmm. and and that's that's great. That that's showing that they, they had target. <laughs> I mean, Sam Vincent said oh she she told the girls when you go to the tournament, if you are not conceding more than 50, hmm. it's it's very very important that you don't concede more than 50. You can go all the way in the tournament. and Look what they achieved. That's brilliant. Right. That's right, brilliant from the, uh, the D Tigress. Uh, they, they, they should be landing uh, in the next 15 minutes. I just wish all of them can just come mm. to the studio right here so we just get to see them because they are truly uh, worthy of every praise that we can give to them. The D Tigress will continue uh, to congratulate them. Let's move on with the show now. Uh, there's one coming from uh, the. The Minister for Youth and Sports, Solomon Dalong, who has attributed uh, the exploits of these ladies, he says that it is due to the sports reforms. I, I like that, that, that word, sports reforms, but guys on social media are saying, Austin, what sports reforms? I, I don't get it, Austin. I'm, I'm not buying it. I, I, in all honesty, I'm not buying it. And I, that, that's not taking credit away from the, from the Honorable Minister of Sport. Good job he's doing. But Austin, over the past few months, 
the build up to the election, the aftermath of the election, there's been, it's been shambles. It's absolute shambles. And, and I think that um, for someone to come out and credit the, the win um, of the Detigress to sport to fund, I, I'm not quite buying it, you know, honestly. I, I, I don't think it's part of it. And we give credit to the minister for, for doing a good job. But sports reforms, I don't understand it. What exactly are they doing? They talk about the election. I'm not, I'm not quite... I'm, I'm not playing in the same league with the minister, so mm. I'm, I'm, I don't quite follow what he's saying. But the minister is just trying to say that, yes, uh, there's a framework in mm. place, and um, whether or not you agree, they wouldn't give them 100% everything they need, but uh, the release is just trying to say that there's a motion in place, and we're already seeing the results. Uh, but we, we, we credit the motion. We, we credit that things should be done well. We, we, we in the media, we're always clamoring that things should be done well, mm. things should be done in the way it should be done, right. best practice around the world. Mm. And we're hoping that the minister can be able to achieve that. And if he achieves that, you're saying that you're setting a benchmark, you're setting um, a brick um, for, for football of sports and every tennis and basketball and golf, cricket, rugby and every kind of sport athletics to go to another level. So just, just set the framework right, set the structures on ground. When you do that, sports in Nigeria will develop in a mighty, mighty way. And this is the start that the Tigers are leading from the front. That's right, the Tigers has given us uh, every reason to talk sports tonight. We're expecting their arrival. Uh, when they touch down, we'll let you know. Uh, champions in any way you can talk about it. Uh, worthy champions, undisputed champions, showed quality, showed character. They did everything. Let's think about it that they are ladies. That just makes it special. The last time Nigeria won this championship was in 2005. Now we are defending champions. The D-Tigers, the men, they are the current champions. Can they win again the d tigress already showing them the way i don't know if they can win but let's just wait for their competition to begin uh in september sports tonight on channels television we're taking a look at everything that is going down in our world of sports let's go on this quick break when we come back uh we'll take a look at march day 36 of the nigeria professional football league it was a tale of missed opportunities don't go anywhere stay